good? It's your boy Pete Frank Williams, producer, unsung, American Gangster, Who Killed Tupac on a &E, many other shows. Wanted to give a super love, much love, mucho props to True Magazine out there representing the streets, your number one source for that hip hop information. Make sure you check it out, True Magazine. Oh boy. That, uh, he's not even really a gangster. Like yeah. He grew up in he's the suburbs. He's a football player. Yeah, I football mean, player with mom and dad. And, you know, a sugar bear. But much love to Sugar yeah, Bear. No uh, doubt. I'm glad you guys have, <laughs> have been uh, enjoying the series. Um, no doubt. Well, you know, I, I believe, hopefully, you know, I've been covering the Tupac thing for a while. And, yeah. You know, even from being there that day after he got shot and, you know, seeing him in person and all of that. So, you know, and doing this show and being around Sugar, you know, I've actually interviewed Sugar multiple times in mm. real life. I, you know, I went to interview him in jail at Mule Creek Prison, you know, around 2000 or so. Um, yeah, yeah, maybe like 2000. And that was, the, jail. that was when he went in went for a violation. For the private, for pro, probation violation mm -hmm. for stumping Orlando. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, he, um, I won't say his energy was always the best. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I saw him also. Um, that time I interviewed him, I was at the uh, prison. I came into the day room and, you know, ironically... Michelle LA was there. Now, for you guys that aren't familiar with the day room, oh, the day okay. room is... I gotta talk street slang. Come on. <laughs> when you go into a prison or a jail, there's an area where the prisoners get to go talk to their family members, and there's vending machines and all of that. And, you know, they wouldn't allow me my notebook in, actually, and so I had to take a real small pencil hmm. and the paper tiles from the machine, and that's how I wrote my Ooh. notes for my interview. Which, uh, but at that time, he was just blasting Eddie Murphy and gay and puffy and just going off, you hmm. know, and uh, I think... Um, based on his energy and his behavior, you see what's happened to him. And based on his energy and behavior, you see what's happened to Drake. So, you know, logical minds as well as dog. You know, so I think they both have progressed because they had positive energy and, and he didn't. Sure. Uh, guys, just in case you didn't know, uh, P. Frank uh, obviously has been in uh, numerous, numerous films uh, behind the scenes. Uh, he's Emmy, Emmy Award winning uh, TV film producer. He's a writer. He's a journalist. He's an author. He's a commentator. Uh, over the past two decades, he's worked in newspapers, magazines, television and film. Even wrote and co-produced a big budget video game, 25 to Life. Produce IOS, IDO, is it? Um, IDOS. IDOS. Uh, and the new Heat Wave interactive uh, Wii based you, game. You read the, is this from like the internet? Yeah, this is you, baby. This, <laughs> oh, this I am you. literally reading <laughs> your bio right now. It feels good to hear yourself <laughs> read all the like, I, 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 I forgot I did all that. Nah, Pete, nah. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Hey. You know, but, uh, you know, it's, it's been a good journey, you know, obviously, um, for myself who grew up in Oakland, you know, and was able to work. LA Times, The Source, you know, The Source in its heyday when all the 